Right, this is just a short one. I've never done two Pam's Ponderings in a day. But I'm doing one today. I am hopping mad. I've been hopping mad all day. But I'm extra hopping mad. I, I sell eggs at my gate. Um, and I have a regular egg customer that's been coming to me for years. And um, she's a German lady that's married to an English bloke. Right. So she came to the gate this afternoon, this evening, about an hour ago. And uh, she just wanted to buy six eggs. And there were none in the box by the gate. So I said, how many do you want? Just one box, she said. So I, I got some from the fridge. And as I went to open the first gate, I said, are you all right? She said, yeah. I said, no, you're not. I could see on her face there was something wrong. So she said, well, no, not really. So I said, well, what's the matter? And there's me thinking, because she's a nurse. Um, you know, somebody's died at the hospital that she, you know, and she's, and it's affected her. She's a, she's a theatre nurse. No, no, she said, um, she said, as you know, um, I was going to retire yesterday. She's about the same age as me, 65 or 64. Uh, I was going to retire last year, she said, and, um, but they were short staffed. So I said, I'd come back part time. Her husband is 78 years old um, and he hasn't got great, wonderful health. He's, he's, um, he's got health problems, 78. So she'd been, go, she'd been working part-time uh, at a local-ish hospital. I'm not going to mention any names. So she said, um, she said, uh, oh, she said, I, I'm, I'm not a nurse anymore. So I said, what? She said, no, she said, I resigned yesterday. So I said, why? She said, well, she said, as you know, Alan's not very well and he's 78. She said, uh, she says, in every meeting that we've had with the bosses, I've brought up the fact that we haven't got any safety gear on. We've got no masks, got no safety gear. And we're treating patients with coronavirus. She said, and every time I've brought it up, the bosses have called me a drama queen. So she said, and then um, last week, two of my staff were not feeling well and they've been told to go into isolation for 14 days. She said, and they're not testing them. So they don't know. I don't, she said, I don't know whether I've been in contact and I'm now infected and I'm going to go home and kill my husband. She said, I, there's nobody's being tested. So these two nurses are off sick. They might not have the virus. They could be working. She said, and the last straw was, she said, they've told me that I have to work on the front line nursing coronavirus patients. And she said to them, well, how can I do that? I've got a 78-year-old husband at home. I can't risk taking the virus home. She said, you know, she was prepared to do the work of two nurses on like the normal wards that she works on and free up somebody that hasn't got an you know, an, uh, uh, an old husband at home. She said, I, you know, she said, I, 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 I can't do it. She said, I, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to have him. He's 78 years old. So she said, basically, they asked me to choose between my husband and my job. She says, and I've chosen my husband. And she was so upset. I mean, she was nearly in tears because she loves the job. But she was nearly crying. Because her bosses, who called her a drama queen, because she protested that nurses have got no protection, nobody's getting tested, and she was asked to choose between her elderly husband and her job. So now the NHS is down another nurse, and with including the two that have gone off because they had a bit of a cough, there's three nurses down at the nearest hospital. So I... I'm, I'm completely on a rant this evening. It's just made me so bloody angry. And I'm angry because she was so upset. I mean, for Christ's sake. What the... F excuse the language now. What the fuck? What the... Oh, to call her a drama...
the Queen because she protested that they hadn't got, none of the nurses have got any protective gear. They haven't got protective masks, none of them. And they called her a drama queen when she brought it up a couple of times. And then to ask her, you know, uh, well, we don't particularly care about your 78-year-old sick husband. Uh, we're gonna, we want you on the front line. So you're going to be working with coronavirus patients, but you won't have any, you know, any safety gear or anything like that to prevent you getting it. For fuck's sake, what the hell is going on in the National Health Service? What the hell is Boris Johnson doing to protect our fucking NHS frontline staff? Yeah, so this is a rant. Pam's ponderings, I'm apoplectic with anger. Every one of you that voted Tory voted for this fucking moron who said he was going to let the virus run. He mentioned the word herd. He meant cull the herd. He's a fucking arsehole. And so is anybody who voted Tory. Rant over. I've got ponies to do.